I am Ngong Kani Shozio. I come from Northwest region. I come here to give my testimony. I am so glad to stand before the people of God today to give my testimony because I never knew that one day I will be standing before people again or before a church like this one to testify because of what I have gone through in my life. I come from Bameda, from Northwest region, and what I have gone through in my life, I really want to give God the glory. Thank you. So can you tell us, what did you go through in life and what did God do for you? I was in one village called Wum in Northwest. In 2016, early 2016, January, they arrested in the in the issue in Wum. So I was we were taken to to Brigade in Bamenda. We met there for three weeks in Brigade. They took us to Bamenda Central Prison. We stayed there for three months. They were not asking us anything. Okay, you were just staying. We were just staying there, not maybe, going to court, nothing, nothing. Maybe there was serious enjoyment there that they wanted you to enjoy. No man of God. Uh, how can they just give you? You are just staying. Were you paying rent? <laughs> we were not paying rent. That's enjoyment, man. Free room. Uh huh. What happened? After that, one evening, they just come and tell us that we should take our things, that they are going to kill us, that they are going to, that they are transferring us to, to Yaounde, to Yaounde Central Prison, and we take our things. They took us there, they travel with us, and we came to Yaounde Central Prison. They put, it, they put us in Yaounde Central Prison, and we were there. They were not saying anything again. We are on the central prison. We were already there. One, uh, at times they would take us to court. They would just go and adjourn us. They would not say anything. And we, we were there for, for five years, close to six years. They were not saying anything. Okay, five to six years. Yes, man of God. Five to six years, no question. Nothing, nothing. Nothing? Yes, we do not know whether we are going forward, we are coming back, we are going out. Uh -huh. And I had a friend, a brother, called Collins. He, will, he introduced me to New Life Covenant Ministry. And I was watching the page through Facebook. And I was seeing the thing that God was doing through his anointed servant, Apostle Marcel Chetim. I, I, I was watching. One day, I, come, I came across a video. A woman was giving a testimony how God delivered her daughter from the spirit of Python and also made her business going well. And it built up my faith. It built, it built up my faith. I understand that what God has done to this woman, He can do it for me. Okay, when you watch the testimony of the lady, your faith also grew. My faith also grew, and I see that if this woman, I even see the manifestation, I see the, how the, 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 the daughter was delivered through the middle of this living water. And I say that if God can set somebody free from this kind of thing, it means my own case, he can also set me free. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I was...
Mm-hmm. I say, wow, what can I do? I say, how can I do to have my own living water? When I went back to my place, I contact that brother that introduced me to living, uh, to New Life Covenant Ministry. Yes. Collins. And I told him, brother, I need living water. He said that, he asked me, what do I want to do with it? I said that, I told him, that what I have seen, that God is doing through that living water. I believe that God can also do it to me and I will be released from this prison, brother. And he told me that he will find, he will look for a way for me to have my own living water if I believe that God can use that living water to set me free. I told him that, brother, I believe and I need it. He said that he will contact the New Life Covenant Ministry and they will send it for him and he will give me. I stayed and I called him again. He told me that he has already sent the, the news to the, to the New Life Covenant Ministry. They, are going, they, they will send my own. After some few days again, he called me. He told me that it has already arrived. But he does not have time now to come. But I tell him, brother, no, if it has already arrived, he must come, he must come to me. And I sent my Gino brother to go and collect it from him. He who was living in Yaoundé. He went there. And he did not see him. He told me that he will not go there. I still look for every means. I pay his transport that he should go and look for it. That I need it. He went and looked for it. He went and looked for the brother and take the things and he come and gave me. When I receive the things, I tell God that God, I know that I have not received no matter what I have received a, a mystery. Amen. I have this not no matter what, I, but I know that this is the medium of your power to set me free, and I believe that I will not use this water until you make the same. When I was praying, I was using a chapter in the book of Acts, chapter, uh, chapter 19 from verse 11, that God did extraordinary miracle through Paul. That hang a cheese and apron that touched Paul were taken to the sick and they were delivered. And I said, God, this living water has taught your anointed servant, Apostle Marcel Chiatim. I believe that what you did in the time of Paul, he will still do it for me this time. And then I pray that evening, I pray, I say, God, if you set me free out of this prison, I will testify and I will save you the rest of my life. I slept. Uh -huh. Continue. When I prayed that evening, I slept. I saw, I had a dream. How we went to court. And we were inside the box. And the, the judge. He, gave, he passed us a sentence, he gave us a sentence that all of us were confusing the box. Mm -hmm. And I saw the man of God, Apostle Marcel Chiatim, he was sitting just a little bit high, in a place higher than us. He was laughing. 
I'm drinking his juice. I said, I get up. <laughs> and I get up of that drink. I say, which type of a drink is this? That they give us a sentence we were like confessing and the man of God was laughing. I said to him, I'm drinking juice. And, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. and I said to myself, it means the man has understand our freedom more than us. We were the one too confused. Come to Jesus Christ. After two weeks, they call us the court. It was final judgment day. They call us into the box. What I saw in that dream, it actually manifested the way I saw it. You can do better. Judgment. When we enter the box, there, there were some people among us that their family fought for them and they put them out of prison for for liberal for that they will be that they will be leaving their homes and coming to the court. Because family was behind to support them. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But when we entered the box, did you have family to support you? <laughs> did anyone fought for you that you should be? Nobody fought for me. Mm -hmm. Continue. When I when we entered the box, the judge called the court attention when they stand up to pass the final judgment. The first people that the first person that they called here, it was those people that their family fought for them and put them out. They call them and give them 15 years. They person 15 years in prison. Instead? Instead. They because the family thought that they should liberate them to be coming from home. Yes. That is where that confusion starts. We are instead confusing that if somebody is instead liberated and they gave uh, and they gave you 15 years, what of us that are here? <laughs> You mean you are finished? You mean we are finished? We started confusing inside the box. And one of us, they give him six years. We were not on our side, we were just like, we were not in us again. Confusion? Yes. So, when they call my own case now. Okay. So I will be liberated from prison. I, I I see that I I just understand that it was the hand of God behind so that. So from there, what happened? From there, they say that we have to pay that I have to pay a fine of six hundred and seventy-five thousand. Mm -hmm. If I don't pay, I will still make six uh, one year six months in prison. I say God. You have liberated me. I know that you have liberated me. When I came back, I prayed. And my spirit told me to call my family to some people and tell them, although they were not assisting me during that five years that I was have been in prison, just call them. When I was calling anyone, they were responding well. Within five days, People that could not even give me something when I was in prison, they raise that money and they come and pay. And this is this is my Hallelujah. My my before my, you open your documents, I want you to know. You listen to my message today. Our battle is not flesh and blood. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the most powerful and the most strongest and the most beautiful and the most lovely lawyer the world has ever known. If Jesus Christ is involved in your case, it doesn't matter who else is involved in your case. The case is settled. Amen. 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 The case is settled. Uh -huh. What document is that? This 
this document is the is from the prison is what proves that they have liberated me from the prison that i'm free from the prison so you can move now like any free person yes this is the document that proves not the Jesus Christ. so five years in prison or six years in prison and just after this encounter you are out how do you feel being free I feel, I feel very good. I feel free in me. <laughs> How was prison? You were not feeling free then? No, we were not feeling free. We were control. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can move freely, no control. Clap with Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, because of time, your advice to those who are listening to you. My advice those who are listening to me deep in me I know that I've not been set free in prison by any of my family member or by any higher authority that we that we think or we see I know that I've been set free by, by God and I advise any, per, any person that is in problem, whatever problem you are going through or any situation, God is the final person in that situation. Don't look on to any person but to God. Not for Jesus Christ. As he has done to me, I believe he will do it for you also. Yeah. Yeah. Nowcom TV. Right now, are you grateful for what God has done in your life? Go now to www.nowcomtv.org and share your testimony with us.